Welcome back everybody to C-Sharp Tutorials for Beginners. This is number eight and we'll be doing if statements. I've put a few notes about your comparison and logical operators at the top. If you need a refresher, you can look over that really quick. So an if statement is something that looks at a condition and then lets us take multiple paths in our code. So let's create a new variable. Let's just say bool is active equals true. So something is active. Well, we could say if is active, and then we could start a new code block, sort of like main. Everything in main that executes is within this code block. So if is active is true, then we're going to execute this code block. Else or otherwise, if it's not active, we're going to execute this code block. To give a quick example, we could put a right line in each code block and we could say system is active. And then in this one, we could say the system is not active. Now, when we run this, is active is true. So we will get the system is active. And if we change is active to false, now we will get the system is not active. So depending on what this condition evaluates to depends on which code block executes. Let's say we want to use an if statement to decide what to do based on user input. So let's ask the user for some input. Let's say, are you sure? Enter yes or no. And then let's change this to a right. Now let's grab our read line and copy that. And let's say string input equals console read line so we can get the, the return. Now, what we can do instead of putting a Boolean in here, we can put an expression. So we can copy input and put it in here. And right now we're just saying if string. So that doesn't make sense to the if statement because it needs to be a condition. So what we need to do is say, equals equals our comparison operator and we need to say yes so if the user input is exactly equal to yes and again case matters in this case lowercase yes is the only thing that will enter this code block we will say you are sure otherwise we will say invalid input. So now if we run this, are you sure? Yes or no? Yes. You are sure. If we run it again, are you sure? Yes or no? And now if I say anything, including no, it's going to tell me invalid input because we need a third block. So we could say else if input equals equals no, and then add a third block. And then we could put this here and we could say you are not sure. So now we have three decisions. We can say if our input is yes, we can take action here. If their input is no, we can take a different action. And if our input is anything else, so this is a specific, this is a specific, and this will handle everything that's not this or this. So anything that's not yes or no is going to give us invalid input. So when we run this, are you sure? No, you are not sure. Are you sure? Yes, you are sure. Are you sure? Eh, maybe. Invalid input. If you've watched other tutorials, you might see if statements written like this with no curly braces. This is perfectly legal syntax in C sharp if you have only one statement after an if, else if, or else. However, I highly recommend until you are more advanced at programming, you leave these here so you can more easily see the scope of your code blocks. If statements, they are fairly simple. 
especially if you know your operators very well. But they can be extremely powerful even by themselves. But in a couple of videos, we're going to add loops into the mix, which unlocks infinite possibilities and paths. Next up, we're going to talk about switch statements, which are very similar to if statements, but have their own uses as well. So thank you for watching, everybody. I do appreciate you. Happy coding, and as always, take care.